So you find yourself shopping on Amazon again, right? For bike lights, for anything bike related. Then you're looking for some oak leaves or something like that. You stumble upon this. Looks familiar. The Leaning Tech Sports Polarized Sunglasses UV 400 Unbreakable Sports Glasses with five interchangeable lens for men or women cycling, etc., 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 for $27.99. You're wondering to yourself, is it good? I mean, you can see the pictures. It looks good, right? Well, how does it look in person? So I ordered it. And now we're going to see how. Stay tuned. Okay, mowing the tree. So without further ado, let's crank her open. You know what? Let's not bore you guys. Let me pause this and then come back when it's fully open. So upon opening it, you get your air packaging. Keep it tight. How does that even protect it? Well, I guess so that it doesn't rattle around or whatnot. Okay, just take that out, and that's it. Nothing else. And here is the thing itself. Let's see. We need to export polarize. Ing, <laughs> polarizing sport outdoor activities new. Okay. Nothing else. Nothing else. It's not like the ones from Alibaba where it says Oakley here, or like the symbol rather for Oakley. Let's open her up. Oh, can't seem to find the edge. Bear with me. There it is. I know it's gonna look weird. I'm gonna wear gloves. Just so when we hold the lenses, they're not gonna be so fingerprint magnety. So we open it up, right? And it's my first time seeing it just like you guys. And there it is. So it already comes with a pre-installed lens, right? We'll open her up later on. Alright, so that's it. And what else does it come with? So, it comes with black. Let's open it. All black lens. Unlabeled. It doesn't have that brand. Okay. So this one. Oh, so this is the blue. blue. I guess this is what you use for when you go to the beach apparently. Okay. It's pretty thick. It's actually good. Okay. What else? And you got another rainbowy brownie tone. I don't know if you could see it but this is also polarized. Polycarbonate UV, okay. Another guy did a review on the Focles. Uh What he did was, um, I know a lot of people say that it's not really 100% protection from UV and stuff like that, and it's not really polarized. Forgot his name on YouTube, but he's quite popular, really. And then he brought these lenses, okay, to local his local optometrists. We've got stores to test whether they actually ha uh, whether glasses actually have UV protection or polarization in them. Then after some testing, even though they're from AliExpress or something like that, it seems to have actually possessed the qualities it says it does. So um, this is for your night writing. Okay. All right. So you got the yellow. You got the clear. Clear lens, right? Let's look at the camera. Let's look. Let's see. Let's see, it actually changes. Hmm, not bad. <coughs> but 
in the black. Is it polarized? So, onto the glasses itself. Okay. So, open her up and see how it feels. Hmm. How does it feel? Let's just show the details. Paint job. It's not that bad. I mean, if you're going to look really close, then you're probably going to see some imperfections. But other than that, it seems quite all right. I mean, for 27 bucks. And then these are adjustable, and how we adjust them is by lifting this side. Okay. Feels tight. That's good, it's not loose. And then you pull it. See? It's got ridges, bite marks that you would want for this to stop. Do you see? Like so. Put them in the largest because I got a big intellectual head. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Now flimsy. They feel good. They don't wobble around like you know how if this were to be loose it'll go like this whenever you just go like this. It stays in place. This is its anatomical position. It actually has a curvature so that it holds your, well, it holds around your face and your head firmly and nicely so that it doesn't fall down when you're riding. Okay, so that's good. The lens, these are what you call the Revo Plus upgraded HD lenses, so they're different colors. Yeah. And see how it looks like. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. That's my camera's fault. Well, yeah. It's just my first impression on how the thing looks. And uh, this is apparently how you change the lens. You just squeeze this in. Right? And then you lift in the middle. Right? You go like this and then like that. And then keep on pushing up. And then that lifts. See? It lifts up. See? Then when you lift up, you just pull it back like that. And then, you can just pull this down. I don't want to do that yet because I'm not going to change them, but that's how you do it. Well, anyways, I think for 27 bucks, you really cannot go wrong. Seems sturdy. I mean, for now. This is definitely a more fashionable way to blocking road uh, road debris, small small sand that gets into your eye while you're riding or whatever sport you're doing, you know. This is a more fashionable way to uh, blocking the bugs while cruising down on your bike, motorcycle or something like that, whatever it is that you're cruising with. Yeah, I mean... For the way it looks, I highly recommend it, but in terms of its functionality, can't say can't say anything about it yet. Nothing bad. Oh, one thing I saw. Oh, that's a find. You're not going to be able to see it clearly, but those etchings actually says 
You see the jawbreaker. Jawbreaker. I don't know if you can make it out, but oh, come on, please. You guys get the idea, right? Freak. You see the jaw? The breaker is really hard to see, but it says jawbreaker. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually have a Folkly instead of a no brand. <laughs> To be honest, I kind of wanted it to say, like, you know, the original branding here. It would be fun, but, you know, whatever. I didn't have to wait too long to get this. I ordered it last night, and today, here it is. So, yeah. Oh, what else can I say? That's it. Um, It's pretty strong. It's not as flimsy as I thought it would be, given that it's not the original brand. Um... See, the thing is, why did I, some of you will ask, why did I buy a fake one? Well, for starters, I'm cheap. <laughs> I'd rather spend serious money on bikes. And for these ones, you know, I mean, they would do just fine. It's Right now, I'm just wearing safety glasses from dollar stores. Okay, and this is a better looking alternative. And, uh... Yeah, if you're like me, you're cheap sometimes, you'd rather skimp on, I don't know, basic stuff like this. I mean, I'm pretty sure that there's tons of ingenuity and technological advances, you know, with the original this, okay? Chop breakers. But, um, for what it's worth, I really only want something to protect my eyes with from the wind and the bugs. And this will go nicely, because at the bottom... If you have a fat cheek, but whatever. Anyways, hope you liked the review. It's my first impressions. If you'd like to get yours, go grab one. If you'd rather not and buy your original one, go for it. Each to their own, I say. You know what I mean? Uh, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed my little review, and see you guys in the next. Cheers.